नमस्कार वायरसेस विल कम एंड गो वेरिएंट्स आल्सो विल कम एंड गो वी नीड टू कीप आवर सेल्फ प्रिपेयर्ड टू फाइट देम वी कैन ओनली प्रोटेक्ट आवर सेल्फ्स फ्रॉम दीस वायरसेस एंड डिजीजेस बाय कीपिंग आवर इम्यूनिटी स्ट्रांग इट इज बिकमिंग एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेक केयर ऑफ आवर सेल्फ स्पेशली आवर इम्यूनिटी लेवल immunity as we all know is ability to resist a specific infectious disease so a strong immunity plays a crucial role in protecting us today i'll share few tips that will help build immunity to keep ourselves strong number 1 one, one must consume these herbal concoctions to build your immunity first such drink is krishna tulsi concoction it is an easy to make drink we all need 4 to 5 leaves of tulsi leaves which is easily available or you can get them with flower sellers you will also need 1 inch of grated ginger suit should be 1/4 teaspoon 1 tablespoon full of organic jaggery or khadi shakkar or honey 1 teaspoon of organic haldi summary all these things are available in the house mix all of this in a glass of water and boil it strain and add little lemon juice to it drink it warm preferably in the morning to boost your immunity system krishna tulsi is an excellent immunity booster it helps in curing throat infections and helps the respiratory system it helps in releasing phlegm from your system and helps better respiration ginger and turmeric are antiviral and helps keep these diseases at bay khadi shakkar organic jaggery or honey help in building your immunity also the second drink is shankh pushpi concoction let's understand take shankh pushpi powder put it in a bowl add a glass of hot water and cover it keep it aside for half an hour and then strain it add a few drops of lemon juice and drink it warm preferably at night in case you don't get the flowers use 1/4 teaspoon of shankar pushpi flower powder and this powder is easily available in any ayurvedic shop these flowers have antioxidants and flavonoids which helps in bringing calmness and reducing stress with a constant stress and fatigue our immunity also reduces so it's extremely important to calm your nerve and be stress free in this time now the second point let's understand what should we eat to build our immunity the first thing in the morning is warm krishna tulsi concoction and eat your usual breakfast after some time remember to include a spoonful of ghee as it helps gut health and removes acidity During covid the digestive system becomes poor and there is nausea and vomiting ghee helps improve to make your digestive system strong have simple and easily digestible food throughout the day and ensure that you use green vegetables like spinach and methi leaves in your diet spinach is rich in nitrate that produce nitrogen oxide and has an anti inflammatory property this prevents the virus from spreading in the body pomegranate juice beetroot juice and pineapple juice are also rich in nitrate and help in preventing spread of virus in the body in between meals one could have a tablespoon of honey with ginger to soothe the throat as ginger and honey both are antiviral and anti inflammatory herbal tea made up of tulsi leaves mint leaves lemon grass ginger etc should be used to have herbal tea in the morning as well as in the evening this also builds your immunity end your day with a warm cup of milk and turmeric this helps induce sound sleep and as we all know good sleep is a must to release proper hormones and to boost immunity third pranayam remember to breathe correctly as it is a must to ensure 
that your respiratory system is functioning well. One particular pranayama which helps increase nitrous oxide in our body is Brahmari pranayama. It is also known as a tranquilizing pranayama. Sit with your eyes closed in any meditative pose. Place your index finger softly on your ear flap. Now inhale through your nose and hold your breath after inhaling for 2 to 3 seconds. Now exhale in a long and controlled manner to produce deep, steady and continuous humming sound. Keep your ear flaps closed while exhaling. Practice this for 10 rounds throughout the day. Along with this pranayama, like anulom vilom, that is equal breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, that is pranayama number 4. These are also extremely beneficial. Number 4 keep your mind calm. We panic sometimes because of social media and news that keep sharing details about the diseases. Remember, a stress-free mind plays a very important role in boosting your immunity. Understand that these times are tough. However, we need to keep ourselves calm since we all cannot step out of the house and are away from near and dear ones, we tend to become stressed. Think positive as you attract only what you think. Positive thoughts attract positive situations. Finally, rest as much as you can to conserve your energy. Keep yourself warm as it's winter now. Wear a warm shawl or woolen and keep sipping warm herbal tea Better is warm water throughout the day in case your throat is itchy and sore. And finally, use this time to rest and recover. Read good books, talk to your friends and family, indulge in hobbies which you never had time for. Pray to keep yourself positive. Support your body and build your immunity and mental strength. Stay healthy. Stay fit and be happy. Namaskar.